What's up, everybody? It's the Hardy Construction. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, but most likely on YouTube. Give us a like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell icon with your host, Comp, and... ba 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 As well as... Slasher! <laughs> Wait, you said her name. Why did you say her name? She should say her own name. It's too late. As well as... <laughs> Thea. There you go. If you know Thea, she just came off of doing copyright for the new um, film that's coming out. It's produced by Brian Singer, directed by Victor Salva, starring Jeffrey oh, Jones and Kevin boy. Spacey. It's the remake of The Lord of the Flies. And featuring music to- by Michael Jackson. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. It's about this, uh, all right. Anyway, today's film is... Scream 1996. Scream, 1996. A year after the murder of her mother, a teenage girl is terrorized by a new killer who targets oh the girl and her friends by using horror films as part of a deadly game. Directed by Wes Craven, written by Kevin Williamson. Starring Nev Campbell, Courtney Cox, David Arquette, Skeet Ulrich, Drew Barrymore, and a whole bunch of Has other Skeet people. Ulrich ever been in anything else? He was in Riverdale for a while, I think, right? Mm-hmm. Was, uh, is that the dancing think- one? No, no, that's the Archie, Archie Comics one. What? That's the one where they took everything really seriously. Mm-hmm. Like everybody is super good looking. Where you can't. Like, I have no idea what Riverdale. Look. Wait, Thea, isn't Riverdale the one where they're doing Irish jigs and stuff? You're thinking they're River Dance. River Dance, um. <laughs> which is very but different. Yeah, he w- he was on it playing, I think, Jughead's like deadbeat dad. Dad, I think. And yeah. then he actually left the show because he was like. I can't feel myself creatively doing anything with the show anymore. He just left, and I was like, well, good for him, I guess. I don't know. But my God, the Betty, Veronica, and Cheryl on that show. Lord have mercy. Even the Archie and the, and the Jughead would get it. So, Danny, <laughs> why did you pick Scream? Because somehow we've never done it. I don't understand how. Because it's a classic. So yeah. Why Scream? We've why done a lot of classics. Classic? I saw this in theaters. That's true. Thea, why is this movie a classic? Uh, this movie is a classic because it takes on all of the sort of traditional slasher tropes of the big 70s and 80s slasher movies and then uh, refers to them heavily. And it's very meta, which people love. Yes, mm-hmm. by a guy who created one of the biggest franchises of all. That's correct. Yes, it cool. does have eyes. Yeah. Um, so Wes, Wes Craven, um, I just realized the remake, the, if I hated the remake. Yeah, I was thinking great. about, I was thinking about uh, Freddy. Uh, I love that remake of uh, that movie. The remake but, uh, itself yeah, is not terrible, but that no, scene is stuff bad. In it that's pretty, uh, I, 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 uh, and I'm not going to explain it to you because I'm sure we'll cover that one yeah, day. Sure. Not with Thea, I'm sure. <laughs> but uh, that movie has a scene and I was like, they're not going to do that. They're, and then they did it. And they I was sure like, did. Holy shit, they did. They did it. I yeah. couldn't believe it. That was anyway, his first movie, wasn't it? No, no. I'm talking about the remake of The Hills Have Eyes. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Anyway. So, uh, so with Scream, this is a movie that actually gave, uh, for a limited time, Wes Craven some uh, pep back in his step. Mm-hmm. Um, well, he so did he, like, I, didn't he do like four more of them though? Like he directed every one, I think. He did three more after them. Yeah, he went up to Scream okay. Four, uh, which was his last film. I think he died before it was released. I'm not sure. Um, I, I think he, sure I think he was nine. still. I think he was still he was alive still when it came out. I think. Um, okay. I didn't. I never saw Scream Four. Um, I'm sure it was. I never saw three. Before. Uh, don't bother. I like um, three. <laughs> okay. I was watching three, and I was like, it was one of those movies where I mean, we'll, we'll get to it anyway. Yeah. We, we scream one. Uh, Thea, what was the? And actually, let's let Danny do this because this is always funny for me. <laughs> Danny, why? How does Scream open? Like, what was the big? Well, you part? know what's funny is it's been a really long time since I've seen this movie, and I got it tangled in my head with the movie Scary Movie, which is very making fun of this mm-hmm. movie. That was a good movie. And I had, like, scenes from that, like, expecting those scenes to come up, <laughs> and then, <and>, like, because <laughs> it's been, like, ten years since I've seen mm-hmm. this or something. But uh, it starts with, um, was it Meg Ryan? Uh, Drew Barrymore. What? Drew, oh, wait, no, also, I don't. Meg who's, Ryan? Who's Meg Drew, Ryan? It would be very funny if she was in this It movie. was about, yeah, her and Tom Hanks, and they meet each other over the yeah. internet. Wait, but who is Meg Ryan? Now I can't even know who She's she is. She's the blonde she was an actor. in, what, Sleepless in Seattle? Is yeah. Whatever. It was Drew Barrymore then. The one yeah. from, the the one from Donnie about, Darko, her. Correct. One of the best jokes about, uh, about her, though, Meg Ryan, because she was in a movie with Tom Hanks called You've Got Mail. And then somebody mm-hmm. tried to make a porn of it, and they called it "You've Got Male Genitals." <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to you. Okay. So, um, Drew Barrymore <clears throat> is killed uh, by a guy Wait, what in a, a ghost setup. mask. Holy fuck! Then you just say 
Drew Barrymore is first terrorized by... Oh, Drew Barrymore is prank called several times. And then is, is uh, the line, you know, Annie? basically being watched and stalked in her house and then killed. She did ask a very, uh, I mean, the, the, the scream voice, the guy Roger Jackson. I think he also did Mojo Jojo. Uh, which <laughs> really? From no, wait, no, the Mojo Jojo, Jojo guy also did Professor, though, and him. So that would mean he did, like, basically all the villains on Powerpuff Girls. So, um, yeah, so he's, he's, uh, he also asks a very important question that people get Do wrong. Do you like scary, movie. well, what's your favorite no, scary movie? Who is, holy fucking crap. <laughs> uh, who, who's the killer in Friday the 13th, which people say Jason, but it's no, it's Jason's mother. And oh, okay, okay. A lot of people fell for that. So this film follows a faceless killer with a Halloween mask. It, it, um, well, you he didn't say screen? franchise, so he, she might have assumed the franchise. <laughs> That's true. Um, she was like, technically. It's a trick question. But the movie was actually sold with Drew Barrymore as a lead sometimes, with the posters and all that stuff. People who didn't watch the really? trailers and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Yeah. She was so a big she draw killed, at the time, so they, they because people didn't know that she was going to be killed off first, they assumed that she was going to be Did the nobody killer. know who uh, Courtney Cox and nope, uh, not, what's her I, face was at that point? Nev, Nev, Nev Campbell, Campbell wasn't big, a little bit really, from, was she? Sh- well, she was from that TV show, wasn't that TV show Party of Five or something? Yes. Wait, but Courtney but she Cox wasn't was like a friend. Lead, or she wasn't, wasn't she? like the main person necessarily. Wasn't sure friend wasn't funny. Friends already on though? It might have been the beginning of Friends, maybe. Okay. I don't know when Friends began. Or it I, might. I, I think I, it might have. Uh, actually, I don't know. When in, in what year it would we're be? Very, we're, 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 we're very. We're we're not we're not Friends uh, literate. <laughs> yeah, I've only seen right. like the first two seasons. It's damn straight. This would have been in the yeah, midst of Friends, so like third or fourth season. That's everybody, everybody in seen. Spain loves Friends. They have like shirts that say Friends on them and stuff. It's very fun. <laughs> I don't know why. Sure. Colossal. They they even have a friends museum experience here in New York City, which I'm oh people boy. Go to this shit. Um, anyway, so <laughs> this movie's about a faceless killer. Uh, I'm sorry, a masked killer. I'm eating, uh, I'm eating popcorn, by the way. That's an what interesting you're note about the mask is that somebody, a random production person, found that mask at a 99 cent store, and they decided to go with it instead of creating a new mask for this franchise. Mm-hmm. This woman production assistant found this mask, and they've been paying this motherfucker, whoever made this mask, good money. I mean, it's just based on the painting Scream by Edward uh, Monk or whatever his name is. Uh, It looks absolutely nothing like the Edward Monk image. Isn't it totally based on that or am I wrong? I I don't know because that's my favorite painting, so I'm not sure. I don't think so. But uh, let's say it is. But uh, they actually tried to change the mask for the MTV series Scream with a new sort of weird mask. Mm-hmm. The people were not having it. That series went two seasons. I, I, I liked it. Was it good? It was okay. I mean, it was all right. I it, mean, was it, was, it was nothing spectacular. They came out with a third season where they got rid of the whole original cast, and then they tried to, quote-unquote, urbanize it, I guess, by putting, like, rappers in it. Yeah. Sure. Which, I don't know, they should have just had black characters. In they the should have season. done yeah. what MTV yeah. does with everything and put, like, they, Snooki I think in they it. Did for the, I think they did for the second season, but then I guess they tried to make it a whole other thing in the third season. Right. But, um, as you can tell, when white people try to make horror for African Americans, uh, although I don't know who, who the production team is, but they if you look at Killjoy 2, you can see that. Anyway, back to Scream. Um... <laughs> Thea, oh, Danny. Uh, who's Wait, let Prescott? Thea talk because I'm not no, good no, at talking. No. You picked this movie, didn't you? Thea, Thea's right, better Thea. That's talker. okay. We can share the load. Okay, yeah. Thea. You, uh, you, 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 you just made me think of Lord of the Rings when he's like, share the load. And it's like in slow motion and then Frodo <laughs> freaks out. I thought of Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. But okay. uh, anyway, so Thea, explain a little bit about um, Sidney Prescott and her dilemma. Uh, Sidney Prescott... Um, her mother was murdered before she, or when she was a teenager, I think. Or no, she would have been a kid. It was a year earlier, I think. I don't remember. By the accused killer Cotton Weary, who's serving time for it. That's right. Um, and she is being targeted by the ghost face killer. She doesn't oh know God. why. Uh, yeah. So this this killer is going around um, racking up bodies. Uh, with these goofy sort of Halloween, I mean, horror movie questions and stuff like that. It's pretty good. I mean, if I was going to kill people, I would do it his way. Yeah. it's a, That's a lot of work to put into that. So this is a, a very interesting whodunit type of horror film, which I, I, I personally enjoy these types of films where you mm-hmm. don't know who the killer is. Lots of red herrings. Mm-hmm. Right. And they did, a, they did a good deal of um, having characters not in the same screen when a killer's running around and stuff like that. They made it pretty interesting with their red herrings and stuff like that like you guys said they even had henry winkler the the yeah (laughs) yeah 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 principal and he's great in it too um 
And he's so young. Does, he's so young. He even does his little uh, checking his hair in the mirror like he did as the Fonz. And then there's he's the best scene. in Arrested Development, though. I yeah, have he's to great. Say. He plays a lawyer in Arrested. Do you know, you know that right, Thea? Arrested oh, yeah. Development. Okay, good. And and also you have a little. Um, it was a Wes Craven. Okay, yeah, right? yeah. As the okay, I think as, the janitor in in a Fred, uh, Freddy Krueger janitor sweater. I oh, I, did, so I didn't you, even catch that. I'm stupid. Holy okay. God! So uh, leave me alone, Danny. Why why did this movie work for you when you saw it? Um, I mean, I was always obsessed with horror, and this was good at the time, and it's still good. I think it holds up actually, but like in like a cheesy nostalgic way. Yeah, I think this is probably one of the more um, milestone type of horror films. One of the last good good horror films of that era the 90s was because, fucking great and this started the whole like teen horror like final yeah. destination all that sort of stuff vibe mm-hmm. going kevin, it, it gave kevin williamson um a, a career essentially by writing this film he went on to do the i, I know what you did last summer which i i liked that first film i didn't yeah. watch any of the subsequent films but uh he got into he got into dawson's creek after that and stuff like that um, i've never so, seen that I did until like I think probably the last three seasons, and then like, why am I gonna bring it up? Because you guys never watched it. <laughs> have it's have, you, have you seen this yet? So I've seen a lot of it. <laughs> You're obsessed with Friends. Have you seen Dawson's Creek also? Me? What? Yes. Yeah. No. Yeah. Because you yeah, you I'm so obsessed with Friends. Uh, yeah, you probably would have been I've, five years old when. Dawson I've seen was. both of them because my partner is a fan of both of them. Really? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Was Hez happy with Joey ending up with Pacey? Because that pissed me off. Uh, See, you guys know so much more than me. It became, oh the, it became the Pacey show, and I'm like, I like Dawson. He's a I don't even know who the fuck show. Pacey is. All right, enough of this. I actually don't Although know what was, their opinions are on all of the characters, but maybe I'll that ask. was a great. That was a great reference in Scary Movie when um, uh, what was her name? Anna Faris's Sydney character. I think it was Cindy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and Dawson actually comes through her window, like an actual cameo by the actor who played Dawson, oh James God. Vanderbeek. It's incredible. <laughs> Scary movie is incredible, and you could never, they wouldn't even think of making that movie nowadays. No. Now that I realize. The Wings Brothers the, are the best. <laughs> just from the uh, just from the coach in that movie, I was like, oh shit, I forgot about that scene. They, they would is it the, is, is, where's the one where they get murdered in a, in a movie theater bathroom? Is that like Scary Movie 2? That's, or? that's part one. That was part one. Oh, okay, okay, okay. With the, with the penis through the ear. Anyway, oh, so as you can see, Scream was. Uh, influential enough to ma- actually have a whole film parody it and that film be as popular mm-hmm. essentially and start yeah. off his own franchise um, but I think uh, Thea what, what are the things because we're going to spoil the ending right because I mean it's a deconstruction if you haven't oh, seen yeah. it at this point then like you know get with the times yeah, you got it from right now we're going to start spoiling spoiler it you alert. should see it uh, very big spoiler alert so uh, what was your your impression of Sidney Prescott's ro- relationship with the non-controversial actor at all of uh, uh, Rose McGowan as Tatum. <laughs> Their it, relationship? It is based on it. It is based on the Edward... Okay, oh, sorry, Tia. It is? It's okay. Well, I guess... Egg on me, right? Go ahead. You're asking about their friendship? Yeah, just just her interactions with every character. Like, my favorite character was obviously Randy in the film. Yes, the nerd like of him, course. And stuff like that. And uh, how dare you? Well, no, but I think, I think every I'm horror fan is like a Randy, kind of. Yeah, Randy was a stand-in, <laughs> and I was pissed off for part two and part three. You know, that's yeah. what happened to Randy. It was very unfortunate. But uh, anyway, so we got De- Deputy Dewey played by David Arquette. Uh, Gail Weathers played by Courtney Cox, who's like this bitchy uh, news reporter who's trying to get uh, as big in the business as possible. Um so get a little bit into the character dynamics and so you think what worked and what didn't work for you. I mean, her Sydney's boyfriend is Billy Loomis, who is like mm-hmm. the traditional like brooding handsome boyfriend type who is also like very obviously a suspect. Is he self-aware enough to know that he's named after a character from Halloween? No. Okay. <laughs> or maybe he is. Um it's funny they reference other like franchises franchises and movies in this universe and yet they don't ever say anything really about some of their names that are referencing things yeah um but obviously billy is like suspect number one from the get-go and they sort of like lead you towards and away from him throughout the entire movie and then of course he ends up being one of the killers um but because he, I, I was surprised it was Stu though. Mm-hmm. I was surprised that Stu was the other guy. Well, and Stu is like sort of a clown, so you don't you don't really think necessarily. Even though they do sort of make him, at in moments, seem like suspicious. Well, you just wouldn't expect it to be two people. Exactly. That's it. Like, which is a good fake. Yeah. Out. 
Yeah. Which is great. Very good. Um, Stu is also my other favorite character in this mm-hmm. one because he's very... Matthew very Willard is fucking great, man. He's, he's great. Yeah, he's a great In everything he's, great he's in. Actor. Yeah. He's also in the series Bosch, so that's a that's a great fucking show. Is he's show. also in the new Twin Peaks. Yes, he was. Um, underutilized, I felt. But either way, um, I think that all the characters pretty much don't they don't feel stock. You no, know, they it feels feel like, like a they live it in feels like world. a real group of friends, kind of. Yeah, um, Tatum, uh, played by the non-controversial um, Rosie <laughs> Gowan, she is obviously uh, very. She was like, I, I don't know. She's like, she was like super. I'm sorry. She's super hot. Just say movie. it. <laughs> she is. I don't say know she was super hot. Movie. <laughs> and you know what? Her death is she like really. She would funny agree. She might cancel me. I'm not sure. But uh, she was, uh, yeah, she was super hot. And then she got a pretty cool graphic death in the film. Mm-hmm. I was actually. Do you think a, a garage door could do that though? I don't know. <laughs> I was I always afraid that it could. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you were. <laughs> Boy, is the ver- the joke version of that in scary movies? It's <laughs> very shit. ridiculous. Yeah, it's not great. It's so offensive. But yeah, so I was watching um, an, a comparison of the R-rated and unrated deaths in the film, and they're pretty much similar. The only one that I think that was really graphic was uh, Drew Barrymore's boyfriend's, because you actually see his organs falling out of them, like the disembowelment. Yeah, you actually see his guts fall out. But in in this, it seems to be like when they cut it for theaters, because I remember probably seeing the cut version, obviously. Right. That uh, they. They, they just shredded by seconds, and you're like, really, like, is it? This movie wasn't really. Is like this rated bad. R? Actually, yeah, it would have to be, wouldn't it? No, yeah, it is. It is rated R. Okay. It's a lot of stabbing. I didn't feel like it isn't. Yeah, it doesn't feel like it's R rated. I mean, it feels to me like PG thirteen. I don't know. Is stabbing what For gets now. you an R and not the entrails? Uh, I, I mean, don't know. who the fuck no, knows? I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure. I'm sure Canada has a whole other system too, right? It's sure it's pretty similar. Canada, right? Okay. Most of the movies are shot in Canada just to <laughs> save money. Um, yeah, I think um, Sydney as a, just as Sydney as a character. What did you What did you feel about her arc? Do you feel that she was uh, Sydney? I got a little crush on her. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. Nev Campbell was like gorgeous. I mean, it was, at that time, it was Nev Campbell and uh, Jennifer Love Hewitt. Mm-hmm. So like, which which one is like that? A, Jennifer Love Hewitt. That's I, I know, know what you did last summer. I, I, I know what you did last summer. She was. Oh, okay, okay, I know. Yeah, I know who she is. But she's like a crazy person from nine hundred two one zero, right? Like, I don't think so. Don't Wasn't she like in a show and she was like known to be like really mean on no, set? No, no, you're thinking about you're thinking about Brenda, the um, the woman from Charmed. I don't know. What's her name? Yeah, right. It's not her. It's not. Her. Okay. Full of you, it's hot. <laughs> and but anyway, God, I'm in trouble. <laughs> but. Uh, uh, as an I liked character, her character. So I, <laughs> so I did like um, Stu and and Billy being the bad guys. It's really the Billy fake out where he gets killed and he's like, oh, um, corn syrup and stuff like that. Which surprisingly, a lot of people who make independent films still don't know to mix corn syrup and red food coloring. And a and little blue like, to make it right, darker. And they'll pay $45 to get fake Halloween blood from a thing. Listen, people, corn syrup, <laughs> which is $3... And fucking uh, and color. Save Red food some money. dye, a little bit of blue, and if you add a little starch to it, it makes it thicker. Just beautiful. What did you guys think of the gore? What did you think of the gore in the film? Serviceable, not enough. PG thirteen. I think it's the appropriate it amount for this kind of movie, which is yeah, not. I agree it doesn't have to be crazy because it's not. Uh, it's not a gross out movie. It's more. It, it's a traditional slasher and also like a. It's a kind of a. Spoof it's very anyway. wholesome feeling yeah. to me. I love this movie. The thing I feel bad about um, Wes Craven is that he tr- like this was his big you know hit back into the thing. I think he did he do he did Red Eye after this, right? I didn't see that movie, but I heard it's very good because it has um, Cillian Murphy. In that it, was right? years later, though. Oh, okay, but but then he also did a, I think a movie with um, I forget which actress, but it was a mo- movie about musicals and stuff like that, or be a musician. I could I I would swear it was um, Music of the Heart. That one, right? Who's in that? It was a big uh, star. Meryl Street. Meryl Streep, Meryl Streep right? Yeah, no, he did, it's like, not. A, it's not Meryl okay. Streep? No, it's not like a it's not a horror movie. Oh no, it didn't make money. But I'm just saying, yeah. uh, he tried and like then they were like, okay, go back to the horror ghetto, as he used to say, because mm-hmm. he said as uh, as uh, I well, think he accepted. Whatever, being, he's good at it. He shouldn't. Complain. No, but I think it was a I think it was a thing that he brought up himself that he never wanted to stay in the horror film mm-hmm. business. But mm-hmm. like, when you make a certain amount of money in Hollywood, I guess back then they'd be like, no, you got to work in horror movies. This is what you make yeah. money, and you can't really stretch. 
it was hard. He was so big. established. He was he was doing it for you know twenty five years or something like that. Horror yeah, specifically, because horror movies make money. Yeah. you know you can say the worst movies ever, but they make money because people want to get scared by horror movies for some reason. It's like a roller coaster ride. Mm-hmm. And yeah. uh, I, I think he didn't get to really achieve what he wanted to do with film, but I think he. Well, he could have done whatever he wanted. He was rich enough. He could have produced his own films. But nobody wants to because they have three hundred and fifty thousand dollar a month like renting, and then you have to be like, oh, should I put twenty million to maintain into his life? Might make money. Yeah, I gotta do that. I don't know. You know if I had, if I was worth a hundred million, I'd spend a million a year on like a film or something. <laughs> like, why not? Like, why? What's well, stopping? Fair enough. I'd also have a golden. His hat. first movie he made <laughs> basically for hat. nothing in college. Yeah, of course. Yeah, so that's how, that's the same thing with uh, Sam Raimi and stuff like that. When right. Sam Raimi did Evil Dead. The, he, I just saw a thing about it on YouTube. He, he like glued a camera his... to pieces of wood to, to be the right. monster, and the, you know. And right after that, he tried to make a um, a film, but it's like very Sam Raimi called Crime Wave, and it went right in the toilet. So he went back and he made Evil Dead Two, and that's how he got his career. Well, thank God for that, because he's amazing. Yeah. So I mean, it it, it shows you the trajectory of some directors, and and um, I'm hoping Ari Aster, because Ari Aster's next film, the guy who did Hereditary mm-hmm. and Midsommar. His next movie is with Joaquin Phoenix. So I doubt it's a comedy, I think. Going to the toilet. You're right. It's like a, he calls it a four-hour nightmare comedy. Oh, so, great. <laughs> there's, an actual, there's an actual short version of the film online with the same lead actor from There's Something About the Johnsons. Um, it's a short version of what he's making, so I, but oh. I think it's a completely different type of film. Okay. Uh, but anyway, I'll watch, I'll watch anything. I'll watch him film someone taking a shit. I don't care. He's the best. So Scream is a really... I think a, a milestone in this type of cinema because obviously it, it, it do you think it was the last of its kind as in I guess no. the conjuring is sort of came back to oh come to on business, right? don't compare this to the conjuring <laughs> I'm not saying it's good <laughs> but I'm saying I would like say conjuring... I would say this is closer in spirit to something like cabin in the woods yeah I agree which is more like you. referential of a lot of other sort of horror I just staples. I just meant as in I just meant as important linchpins in cinema as in, like, they started other things. You know what I mean? Like, Oh, okay. Like yeah. starting a wave of movies that are similar sort of to it. Right, you know? like, yeah. like um, this I would put with um, the Blair Witch Project as in movies that kick-started something. Because like, there's always, yeah. a, like, there's never not a time where there's horror films, where there's not horror films. Right. But there's always a horror film that will shine a light for other producers to get bigger budgets for their movies. So, like, mm-hmm. the... Like the Blair Witch Project, Paranormal and Activity. Insidious and Paranormal this, Activity. Yeah. Saw, Saw, and yep. then like... Uh, God, James Wan films. like destroyed the horror industry. <laughs> Although I do love I do love his latest one, I have to say. It's a horrible movie with a great 20 minutes. <laughs> but uh, what are things that didn't work for you with these films, guys? I, I don't know. I think it's great. What about you? I, don't, I think it all works, especially in this I one. A, yeah, I think it's a pretty solid film. And, I, and I'm trying to heroin... imagine... Sorry, go ahead. What? So, no, I was going to say, Theo, like, what do you think if we hadn't seen these movies already? Do you think we would like them as adults? I think like, so. I, I, I think I would. Uh, like, Scream specifically, I think, would definitely like as an adult because it still works. And It's a, it's like a solid, clean, you know, slasher film. Yeah. There's nothing that's right. like... Yeah, but and you, every, think you might think it's, like, kind strokes. of boring because, mm-hmm. I, I mean, the whole time I'm watching it, I have nostalgia, but, like... And it's, it's I not think, pop, I don't think it's boring. It's not pop... It's not pop culture where it's like, oh, did you hear, um, I was going to say Huey Lewis on the news, but that's like from the <laughs> 80s and shit. They're like, oh, you're not hearing Chumbawamba, right? Like, you know, some, <laughs> oh, some character's name out loud and shit like that. Yeah. Chumbawamba, very rare reference, very rare reference. To yeah. I, is that the, I get knocked down? That's oh, so, you know what? I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. But uh, so it was followed up by two films, uh, either whether they were as successful as the original film oh three films obviously um scream 2 i thought was okay um it was fine i I didn't like the killer reveal in that for some reason i thought it was lazy Mm. but it was a reference to friday the 13th the killers in that one right and Mm. then part three i felt was like a real letdown but you like part three do you i like part three i I think i like two and three just uh, three is very campy it's like campier than any of the sequels by far (laughs) because it's because it's literally they're making a movie that's based on the original murders within the movie right so there's no super meta yeah so there's like a a cast member for every 
original character from Scream. So, so it was like a bigger body count. Stuff like yeah, that, well, that makes me uh, that goofy. makes me think of that weird uh, porn movie we watched, where they were making a movie about a killer <laughs> as there was a killer picking off all the people in the porn. There you go. What are you talking about? That, it what? was like a, a gay porn industry yeah, movie. Yeah, we watched oh, it. I can't remember. Okay. I can't remember what it's called so you now. You saw a horror movie. Yes, you mean. it was knife, a horror knife movie. Knife plus heart. We didn't. Yeah, we didn't yeah, review yeah, a porn a... movie. Well, no, now we don't. Yeah, we no, we. Porn. I mean, it was we just should about... though. That would be funny. That would <laughs> be fun. I know fun. the part where I check. I mentally checked out on part three is when there was a in character um, uh, cameo by Silent. I mean, Jay and Silent Bob, and I was like, oh. Oh, okay. okay. Like, oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> people really, like, I, I, I think Kevin Smith's a fine gentleman. Sure. Uh, but his character like, doesn't belong in a horror movie. Uh, yeah, uh, and, and he tried to, like, he did a new Jay and Silent Bob movie, and my friend was like, yeah, no, it was good. I was like, no, fuck. I saw five seconds. I was like, I'm out of here. No way. <laughs> but that's sort of where it went. And then part four, I think, was a little bit more serious. Yeah. And it also had the lovely young Miss um, Emma. She's related Roberts. to Julia Roberts. Emma Roberts, who I have a little problem with because she smacked around uh, my boy from American Horror Story. Oh, uh, I heard about that. Allegedly. Allegedly. But I wouldn't mind getting smacked around by her. But do not abuse uh <laughs> Don't, your abu- don't abuse Evan Peters. <laughs> She's from Ho- been, American Horror Story. Uh, listen, I've had my face slapped in by an ex-girlfriend oh, for God. no reason. And that, was, that is absolutely... Jo- I can talk about funny because I'm a guy and people laugh at shit like that, which you shouldn't. It's not anyway. funny. It's not funny. Um, but I just just having somebody that you're dating just slap the shit out of you is just like... It, it's like, uh, what just happened? Like You actually jump out of your body. It's traumatic. Yeah. Why am I turning this... Why am I turning this into a... a I don't know. Do you need episode? counseling? We can help I you. I do not. I'm okay. We can. She was, she was hot. But uh, <laughs> anyway, so... Uh, yes. <laughs> what is happening me. today? I literally, I literally argued with an ex-girlfriend once. I was arguing with her, and then she started getting changed in front of me. I forgot I was mad about it. I'm very Cro-Magnon. Oh, I'm, just, I'm a disgusting pig. Mm-hmm. So, Think with your wiener. Yeah, we got to Scream 4, and it had Emma Roberts in it. Um, I like Emma Roberts now because she narrated a pretty good fucking uh, novel. And, she's a good and that was like thing. seven years ago or something, right? Scream 4. And yeah. they're making a new so, one now. Yeah. And the Scream 5 trailer looks boring as fuck. Is it yeah. worth yeah. Is it sure. worth me re-watching 2, 3, and 4? Yeah, why not? I mean, if you're going to go into 5, uh, they cleverly tie... I mean, do they, do they tie into each other, really? Not really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The new one, yeah, the new one has the right? same actors. As Courtney Cox, as David Ar- uh, David Arquette, who would have showed up anyway. I, think. I just don't understand. I mean, the killers are dead, so each one is just a copycat. It's a new person. Yes, yeah, it's, it's always, always a copycat. copycat. Yeah. So it's yeah. a new fifth one. To me, it, there looked nothing interesting in that trailer for me, besides the mask of the killer. There was nothing in it that looked... But then again, it's just a trailer or a teaser trailer, so you don't get that sort of pop comedy reference stuff. like Because they were very wink, wink, nudge, nudge. With the in any case, the 90s is the best era for horror in my opinion unbelievably even worse i saw a trailer for i think they, they're making a tv show of i still i know what you did last summer they are and they're not even sure yeah it's just like the poster of that is like four five people's faces like which i'm sure is the poster for the original type of film but they don't even like not even in the trailer do they show like a guy in a fish like a, like a fishing suit with a hook yeah. Nothing. do you think that and he would like, be friends this? with candy man if they met the i still i know what you did last summer. yeah you think they'd hooks. clink their their uh their uh, hooks together I, I, I think that that fisherman was probably racist. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just taking a guess. Good riddance. But then again, he was from he was from uh, where St- Stephen King is, so maybe not. He probably likes you know African Americans, but I'm sure, sure. he likes. Yeah, but words. Stephen King says the N word an awful lot in his <laughs> That's books. Stephen King's favorite. I, I have in every book yeah. at least he once. Really does. I feel that he wakes up in the middle of the night and says that word. For yeah, he's got like a Tourette's <laughs> thing, so he puts it in his books to get this it out of his This has really gone soul. off the rails. I did listen to it. I did listen to his new his new book, Billy Billy um, Summers, which is pretty good. Is the N word in it? No, I was surprised. Wow, very good. Okay, very good book. I was like, I, like I wanted to meet him and pat him on his back and be like, "You okay?" Congratulations, you did it. Like, good and job. And he goes. But anyway, back to the movie Scream. Uh, I think uh, we should just we, we, let's give a rating. Ratings. I didn't think I was going to say anything about this film, but I guess I was wrong. Yep. So, Thea, what rating would you give Scream 1996? Uh, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of Voice. 10. Uh, your wow, your boyfriend you. uh, has been the murderer all along, but with his secret boyfriend, who you didn't know about, really. That's mm-hmm. true. Another scary movie reference. Mm-hmm. Danny, what rating would you give Scream 1996? Uh, I'm going to give it a 9.5. 
out of 10 um, teaching the kids at home how to make fake blood through dialogue. There you go. Uh, I would like to give it a 9 out of 10, uh, a secondary... What did I do? What did I do? I heard that. I heard... Ugh. <laughs> Did I do something no, wrong? No, keep what going. Keep going. No, keep going. Oh, fish. Sheesh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Holy crap. <laughs> a nine and a half out of ten. Sheesh. A nine and a half out of ten. Um, thanks for throwing me. Go. Up. <laughs> Having a secondary welcome to primetime bitch moment, uh, but the woman smashing the TV on a guy's face. Oh yeah. Nice. And with that. That's yeah, true. You know what? Word. That's true. I didn't think about it until right now. Uh, it's a genius. Uh, Sophia, what's the final word? Unbelievable. Dude, boy, I'm in trouble. Danny, what's the final word? Story time. The Hardy Section.